insulin dapagliflozin, improves HbA1c levels in patients with type 1 diabetes. Dapagliflozin, a sodium glucose co-transporter 2 inhibitor, has been accepted for the treatment of type 2 diabetes. The Phase 3, Depict 1 trial, established that addition of dapagliflozin to adjustable insulin in the treatment of polycontrolled type 1 diabetes showed improved glycemic control and tolerance among patients. The goal of the study was to evaluate the efficacy and safety of dapagliflozin for 52 weeks in type 1 diabetes patients who completed their 24-week trial. Patients above 18 years of age with type 1 diabetes were enrolled in the study. Individuals whose hemoglobin A1c levels were between 7.5% and 10.5% were included. A total of 747 patients participated, included in the 24-week, double-blinded, phase 3 trial. The patients were divided into different groups and received 5 mg or 10 mg of dapagliflozin or placebo. Hemoglobin A1c levels were measured at baseline and after 52 weeks. The mean percentage reduction in the hemoglobin A1c levels was significant in both dapagliflozin groups compared to the placebo group. The reduction was more in the group receiving dapagliflozin 10 mg and insulin. The mean percentage decrease in the total body weight was significant in the dapagliflozin groups, the reduction was more in the dapagliflozin 10 mg plus insulin group. Similar proportions of adverse events and serious adverse events were observed between the groups. The study results suggest that dapagliflozin and insulin treatment effectively reduces hemoglobin A1c levels along with body weight in patients with inadequately controlled type 1 diabetes. However, long-term treatment was associated with increased events of diabetic ketoacidosis.